Hi guys, welcome to the 30th video of the Love Babber 450 question series. So we are doing uh, searching and sorting. We have finished array, matrix and strings. If you have not yet watched the uh, previous videos, I'll put all the videos in the playlist and I'll give the playlist link in the description. And also the questions link, the sheet, whatever sheet is visible in the screen that you will find in the description and whatever solutions I have uh, written that also you can find. So actually we are supposed to solve this problem today. Find four elements that sum to a given value. So I want you to take this as a homework and do it. I will discuss in the next video because this is a problem that I have already like this kind of problem I've already done in the previous videos. So I will just give you hints for this problem. Find four elements which sum to a given value. So what you should do is, what you need to make use of is, first is sorting, because it is obviously a sorting problem. You will have to sort the array, okay? Somewhere you will have to use sorting. I hope this much you can understand. Next, you will have to use something like a two-pointer approach. So something like a two pointer approach before solving this problem, try to solve this problem. That is three uh, sum, that is three variables which sum to a given value. Try to solve this problem. Then you can solve for some problem. So this is a homework. Okay. And I shall discuss in next video. And in today's video, let us discuss something that is very much similar to this, slightly different, but. So we'll be given an array of integers and we have, and a value X. We have to count number of triplets with the sum smaller than X. Now this is sounding something very similar, right? What is it sounding like? So this problem is count triplets with some less than k, less than x. So I think we have done a problem which is count triplets which sum equal to x. So we have done this problem, but we have not done uh, count triplets uh, with some less than X. So how to do this? So again, first step is sort the array. And next apply two pointer method. How to apply two pointer method. So the code is like this first sort the array. Okay. After that, take three variables, I, J and K run a loop i equal to zero to n and every iteration you need two variables because ultimately you have three uh, variables now you want a triplet triplet means three numbers so you will need a three uh, variables so this i pointer will be fixed and this j and k pointer will be moving in every iteration so J pointer will be I plus one, K pointer will be the last element. It will be pointing to the last element. Run a loop from J, sorry, run a while loop J less than K, okay? The condition will be J less than K. This is same as two pointer approach. I had solved a problem, right? Like uh, find two variables which, sorry, two elements which sum to a given value. There we use two pointer by sorting same concept. This is going to be same concept, except that there are three variables now. So we will need an outer for loop, which will run through all the elements, inner for loop. Okay. And what we will be doing, we will say if a of i plus a of j plus a of k is greater than the given sum, greater than or equal to, then we will do k minus minus. Why is this happening? Because, for example, if the array is say one, two, five, eight, okay, and our given sum is uh, say six, 
or uh, let us say seven. Okay. Then initially, this is I. This is J, and this is K. So A of I plus A of J plus A of K is what? One plus two plus eight, eleven. Now eleven is greater than seven. So what we should do now? We should move this K pointer backward because the value will become lesser. What do we want? We want a triplet which is less than the given value. So that is why we have to do K minus minus. i hope you are understanding how we are using the two pointers one pointer will be moving backward and one pointer will be moving forward the two conditions for that are this if this sum is less than the given sum then this is most important step so this is the most important step because we have to count how many elements are there na to count the number of elements we have to add k minus j because those many elements also will have a triplet which will have a sum less than the given sum so this is the only extra thing that we have to write so this is important and of course then move the j pointer forward so if you still don't understand first try to solve the problem find three numbers which sum to a given value then you will understand this concept i have already solved a very similar problem please go back and check the video and there you will get an idea how to use two pointer technique so this is like a sorting plus two pointer approach okay so i will put the code uh, submission in the description you can look at it but i hope you understood the most important step was counting this k minus j that many number of elements so try it by yourself dry run the code take some examples more examples okay and let us go to next problem next problem some stickler thief problem so first let me erase this and so there are n houses and there is a robber who will come to loot the house but he will never loot two consecutive houses he wants to loot maximum amount so find the maximum amount he loots so there are n houses okay so house 1 house 2 house 3 so on house n robber will come if he loots this house he will not go here he will go here or he can go here wherever so how to solve this problem see look at the constraints all are positive numbers so if all are positive numbers what are the two cases there are only going to be two cases okay there are only going to be what two cases so what are the two cases suppose he will rob this house house number 1 this is 2 this is 3 suppose he will rob this house then he cannot rob house 2 he will rob house 3 so one one case is he will rob house 1 and house 3 another case is what house 2 only he will rob so we have to find the maximum of these two so i hope you are understanding what logic we are building we will either for a particular house for a particular house okay for any any house we will either check the house which is uh two units away from it or we will check that current house what i'm saying is see the this is actually i have solved it using dp okay i have solved it using dp so one second i'll just
I'll just copy it here. So I've solved it using DP. First of all, what we will do, if there is only one house, then we will output that. If there are two houses, we will output maximum of both of them because we can only rob one house. We cannot rob adjacent houses. If there are more than two houses, we will assign DP of zero as A of zero and DP of one as maximum of these two. And the condition will be DP of I is maximum of dp of i minus 1 or dp of i minus 2 plus a of i. And the final answer will be in dp of n minus 1. So that is what I was saying. So I will just remove this again. So the first condition is for this particular house, we will check the house which is two units away from this. We will check the sum of these two. So this is nothing but A of i plus dp of i minus 2. Or second condition is if there is a house, we will check the adjacent house that is dp of i minus 1. Because if this value is greater than this, if this value is greater, if this one is greater than this, then we will not even rob this house. Na? Let me give you an example to be clear. So for example, if there are three houses, one, six, four, what is the maximum amount you can get? The answer will be six. Why? You will only rob this house. You will not rob one and four because one plus four is less than six. So that is what I was saying. Suppose you are standing in this house, house number three. You will check one plus four is less than six. So you will not rob this house. You will then only take this value that is six. I hope you're able to understand now what we are doing. So the DP state is this. DP of I is maximum of DP of I minus one or DP of I minus two plus A of I. And initial, uh, this thing, the initial uh, assignment is important. DP of one will be maximum of first and second element. So that's all for this video. I hope you understood the code. I hope you are understanding the problems. You have shown a lot of support for me till now. Please continue to do so. Like this video, share it with all your friends in all WhatsApp groups. Please subscribe to the channel. It will motivate me a lot. And uh, thank you for watching this. Please stay tuned. I hope you're doing this by uh, yourself side by side. Thank you for watching again. Have a good day. Bye. Take care, stay tuned.